twice, twice, twice. I'm so I'm so excited it's finally here. Um, I'm going to do three songs on YouTube and the next three on Patreon as always. And as always, people will ignore that and recommend me I listen to them. Um, so we'll start with I Got You. It's been so tough avoiding this. Mobile I'm such a dickhead, honestly. Whose low was that? Was that Dayhan or Momo? Very nice low there. Oh, that's cute. It's a very nice, easy, easy listening. Um, yeah, very nice, easy listening song. Um, not anything I find super brand new coming from them. I'll probably give this song maybe a 5.5. It's nice, but I don't think, yeah, the, the, my favorite part was the, 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 the harmony, the sub, the counter melody that sounds like Jiho was singing it. I like that. Okay, title track, One Spark. Yeah. 
Wow. That reminds me of um, Girls Generation, The Boys, so much, but in a new setting. Wow. See there, I wish that chord on my heart is burning, stayed burning, and then it changed afterwards. I don't like that it changed so quick. The styling is amazing though. Okay, Vogue. Yes. So synchronized. So synchronized. Um, yeah, I feel similarly with this song, actually. I'll probably give this one a five as well. Um, I think melodically, compared to how I felt with Talk That Talk or Set Me Free, um, uh, what's the other one as well? Like, they just had such um, nice, um, just the melodies were very strong and nice, strong hooks. These feel very like, okay, nice. You know, if, if they feel like for this comeback, it feels very um, laid back, I would say. Um, it's not what I was expecting. I was expecting prettier hooks. I don't need them to be singing super high as well, which I like. They're not pushing themselves. Um, but I wouldn't say it's, it's their strong melodic songs or, yeah, they're nice, but nothing like whoa okay you know okay let's see rush
Oh, Mina's voice every time, man. Do you know what it is as well with this song? So this one, I like the composition the most, you know, with the garage drum and bass kind of beat pattern, but they don't sound as happy or as, you know, as um, head, what's the like, you know, when you're love struck, when you can't get enough, it does, I don't feel the conviction. Like they don't, they don't, it doesn't sound like they're singing, smiling. And that makes such a difference to how your voice comes out because I wanna feel your rush. It sounds different too. You hear the smile. So I think it, that's the energy that's missing. But then again, this is the Pink Panther's um, blueprint of, you know, she pulls it off because her voice does sound like, you know, she's um, she's got that girly, playful tone. Uh, but here with a group of nine people, it's like you, like everyone doing that, it then kind of feels very monotone. But then that's also that's very trendy. And this will do amazingly on TikTok and stuff like that. Like, people would eat this up. Um, but for a reg for a regular consumer, it's a bit like, okay, where's... I want to feel the conviction. Um, but yeah, but I, I do like it. I'll probably give it a six. Six, six, one, five. It's a dreamy song. Um, and the thing is, I will just... Conviction doesn't mean you have to sound overly energetic. It could just, it could still sound similar, but just sell, sell it a bit. Play with the rhythm a little bit. Play with the pronunciation, the phrasing, the cadence, just so, so, so it feels more, it feels as playful as the song is. But the vocals are very straight, like there's just no, there's no playfulness that I would have liked in there. So. Yeah, that's all I thought that one. Right, so we're going to do the rest on Patreon now. Now, new, new. And the fact that song was only 2 minutes 30, my God, scary. 